Okay, so this is a short video to show you how to uh, get proper colors in Leica M240. Uh, the camera by itself uh, produces wonderful colors, but depending on the light and depending on the situation, sometimes, especially for product photogra photography, you might want to calibrate the colors before you take uh, the shot. So, you have two options. I have put them here on the table with uh, their respective uh, boxes. This is the Expo Disc. Expo Disc is uh, quite nice, quite sturdy, no electronics needed, so you can put it on your belt. But it requires to take a shot with the camera, and this is the Lumu, Lumu Power, which is actually a, a small attachment accessory for your iPhone. And they have two versions with it. Um, this one is the first generation which uh, I don't know what the second version did but it was much more expensive and since I already had this one I don't bother with it but uh, this one actually has like four functions in one you can uh, uh, check the light the proper light proper color and actually you can do that for video and for flash so pretty good thing if you don't wanna waste your shutter as for this, on the, on the other hand, works with uh, any camera, any lens. Uh, this is from my old Sigma lens, which is huge 82 millimeter filter. But actually, if you want one size fit all, you have to get the biggest filter corresponding to your biggest uh, 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 lens diameter. The way this one works is pretty simple. Uh, get the camera. Put it in front, take a sample shot from the opposite direction. So if I'm shooting this, I need to take a shot in the opposite direction where the light is coming from. Or if it's coming to the side, you need to go to the side. So let's say I want to take a, a, a picture of this thing and I want to see what the proper exposure is and etc. The way you do it is you go to the camera first go to white balance and go to gray card now my light is coming from over there my light is coming from over there from the window so what I'll do is and it has to be on automatic keep that in mind automatic uh, you can put it on manual ISO but the the speed needs to be on automatic that's how you get best results but I'll leave everything automatic in that way it will tell me exactly what also the shutter speed needs to be. So over there, take a shot. And now we have this thing, the cross on the back. You can see how blue it is. When you, when, once you had set, there you go, white balance had been set. You see, when you check the image back, when you play back it, it says 190th of a second and ISO 200 so you can actually set it because this is dark if you just take a shot it's gonna overexpose it so we'll do 90 here and it says ISO 200 so ISO 200 here and now we're ready to take a shot so and it says I'm underexposed but really I'm not underexposed uh, at all it's actually a perfect image with perfect colors as you can see and that's how the expo disc works it is very easy I'm telling you, very easy very fast to get everything accurate from the first shot now this one is a little bit more tricky it has a little bit more tolerance that's the Lumo power but it has a lot more possibilities in that little thing so uh, I'll reset the camera settings and I will take one shot uh, with, uh, I'll go to automatic, uh, this also on automatic, and ISO on automatic, and you'll see what happens. Yeah. This is the shot, and this was the previous shot. You see, this is not overexposed, and this one is here now. But, anyway, 
I'll show this image later on in the, in on the computer so you can uh, see the difference and maybe I'll take a picture of another sample with more color so you can see the difference. Let's go to the Lumu. So Lumu, let me unlock my phone. Once you plug it in, it will say Lumu meter, do you want to allow to communicate and there you go. Now here are the modes. You have color temperature, photo ambient, photo flash, cine video, chromacity and luminance and spot metering. So for the for the sake of it we'll do because with this one I got the both two proper. So photo ambient, you see again, you have a start button, but here you have to tell it sorry, you have to tell it how do you want to shoot. So I wanna shoot ISO two hundred you can hit the start button and it will change automatically. So you see it's it's telling you Right now you need to be at one sixth. So no, we'll go all the way down to one fourth as the same. Let me see, same measurement. You see it? One nineteenth of a second and two hundred ISO. So, but to get uh, to get the, um, you see, you have multi pinhole. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of things here. Color temperature. Now. Well, this one again measures the light, this one measures the color. So the color you have to point it toward the object. Let's see what happens. But, but you see here, I cannot do it in the camera. I have to save the setting. And later on in uh, Lightroom or whatever software you have, you have to adjust it. So let's, uh, let's do this. So there we go. Stop. And you can do save. You can even take a picture, take a photo of the object, so you remember what it is. Use that photo, yeah, and just type something and hit save. Once hit save, it's in your save. Uh, oops, I think it's down here. Yeah, there. So this one, if you want to see it, it, it tells you how green and and the uh, ambient. Now, because I'm not a hundred percent sure. If it's gonna give me a proper colors, I normally take uh, the color temperature of the light too. So what I'll do is I'll point it out. No, that's gonna be too much. So yeah, the scene that should be that should be okay. Yeah, okay. Let's leave it at that. And now with the camera, I'll just take a, a um, take a picture with uh, with the proper settings that they saw which were the same as the expo disc, which is we don't move the aperture, we move it to uh, 90, 90, 190 for a second and I will be setting the ISO to 200, we'll take a picture boom, it says again it's underexposed, yeah this time actually it's underexposed because I think that the, the light changed uh, from my window so this one was 190 of 200 yeah, I think. Oh, this one did it with 160 of a second. That's how I set it, not 190. Okay, so let's do let's do 160 also here with the automatic out of balance. Yep, pretty much the same. Uh, well, that's that's all there is to those two things. Now I'm gonna switch to the computer, show you how to add the. Uh, uh, the data from uh, from Lumo Power and go from there. From the Expo Disc, there is nothing to do. It's one shot and you're all set, preset for the camera and you keep shooting. That's all. So here it is. Uh, the test shot was uh, yeah. You see the the measurements that I did with uh, the Lumo Power will not be perfect because the perfect one are 7400 or 7400 for the temperature and the tint is plus 14 the low power gave us quite different uh, settings I can see I probably underexposed a little bit maybe uh, because it's cloudy and it's a lot of bright light through the clouds sometimes it, it can be tricky to get the proper ex exposure but still, I'm, I'm over there and I'm not missing by much. Yeah, if you can see, it's half a stop or something like that, which is very useful for post-processing. 
but you will see on the image the actual image that I was taken after that this is the actual image it's actually very well balanced um, very well balanced no no bright spots here because if I go with half a stop up yeah you'll start seeing bright spots and I can tell you with my eyes yeah I mean the truth is somewhere in between um, so let's leave that in that but the colors are perfect see the white is white it's nice warm temperature uh, real colors temperature now this is the one if you're fully automatic that's what it's gonna do it's gonna overexpose big time and it's gonna jump to ISO 640 and 145 of a second so uh, yeah pretty inaccurate now this is the one that I did with uh, Lumu <coughs> and it's one ninetieth of a second that's that's how it was uh, telling us to shoot actually also the lumo underexposed it because of the tricky light so it is my bad uh, that i pointed tower the object and i should have pointed the back of the lumo power tower the um, light source this is a test shot this actually worked uh, pretty good with the light source um, it told it told me the reading with uh, this is the automatic camera so it did 190th and then ISO 200 pretty good actually out of the camera this is the um, expo disc it told me it's 125th and ISO 200 so this is the one uh, that's really well calibrated calibrated side to side so this is 120th that's the 90th okay so this is how it goes. This is the calibrated. On the left we have the calibrated one. On the right we have the not calibrated one. I don't know on the video if you're gonna see it, but here the white is actually blue, uh, greenish, and here it's perfect. On the left, on the calibrated photo, it's perfect. Uh, Color-wise, I mean it's pretty good all around, um, but like I said, it's just the tint in this image that it's uh, a little bit greener on the right which is the not calibrated one and on the left we have uh, the calibrated one this is this is the difference maybe you can see it here better in the shadows uh, it's greener while well, here it's a little bit more magenta it makes it uh, much better so that's how it is and uh, I hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe and uh, comment thank you